Hi, and welcome to our podcast, Among Therapists, Practical Tips by Psychotherapy Academy. I'm Dr. Jessica Diaz, and I am an editor at Psychotherapy Academy. I'm delighted to have you join us for this new episode. Before we go into our discussion, a quick reminder about our valuable resource, Therapy Pro with its clinical cases, which offer expert guidance and the opportunity to earn CE credits. Now, let's get started with today's episode. In today's session, we'll explore a crucial aspect of therapy, the power of acceptance exercises, particularly in the context of connecting acceptance to a sense of realistic purpose. Depression and anxiety can create significant challenges for individuals, making it essential for therapists to find effective ways to help clients embrace acceptance and navigate their emotions. We'll uncover the transformative potential of acceptance exercises, as demonstrated in the case of Jane, who is learning not just to tolerate discomfort and lower her expectations, but also to embody the kind of person and parent she aspires to be. Our faculty member is Dr. Michelle Wojdnik, a licensed psychologist in private practice in Omaha, Nebraska. She earned her doctorate in combined clinical counseling and school psychology from Utah State University in 2013. Prior to entering private practice, She was a staff psychologist for several years at the Boys Town Center for Behavioral Health, where she helped to start the Trauma Recovery Clinic and co-developed an Adolescent Dialectical Behavior Therapy Program. Dr. Wojtnik provides individual and family therapy for adults and adolescents with diverse clinical presentations and is a peer-reviewed ACT trainer. This is an extract from Clinical Cases, part of our new membership program, Therapy Pro, which allows you to earn CE credits after completing multiple choice questions testing your new knowledge. We'll continue to give you sneak peeks at various case conceptualizations from different therapeutic approaches. So let's listen to Dr. Wojtnik as she explores the experiential and purpose-driven world of acceptance exercises and discover how they can empower individuals to embrace their emotions and align with their values. So if you want to target acceptance in session, um, you're going to... um, have more power in the exercises and more buy-in if uh, you're able to connect it to why you're doing these acceptance exercises. Uh, it's not just about feeling uncomfortable with or lowering your expectations for your quality of your work in Jane's case, um, but it's about being consistent and supportive Um, and showing up as the kind of mother that you want to be? Would you be willing to feel this anxiety if that's the entrance fee, to, so to speak, to being the kind of mother that you want to be? You want to target acceptance experientially in session. There's tons of acceptance exercises out there. Some of my favorites is I like to, in the moment, help Jane turn her attention to the emotion that's showing up um, or the anxiety that's showing up. And if we're not getting some of that in session naturally, at some point I may have her imagine being back in one of the situations, maybe on her tracking chart, where she did feel anxious, just so she can connect with some of the anxiety in session a little bit, so we can actually practice in real time some of the acceptance or willingness strategies. So then I may ask her to notice where in her body she feels the anxiety, notice the edges 
Where is it most intense? What other sensations do you notice in your body? Um, If there was a temperature to it, what would the temperature be? If you could touch it, what would the texture feel like? Um, How big is it? Is there a shape to it? Notice if it moves or if it's still. Um, So all of this is cultivating a willingness to be with that feeling. It's it's exposure, um, so to speak. So you can see how this also targets other processes, that there's some present moment awareness um, in that exercise that I just described. So just as a reminder and as an example that a lot of these exercises target more than one process at the same time. I may ask Jane to, once she's connected with this sensation, another exercise I like is to then Imagine saying no to the sensation, to the feeling. No, it can't be there. Just no. And observe what that feels like. And then shift to say yes to the feeling. Imagine mentally saying yes. Yes, there's room for you. Yes, it can be here. And just notice what that feels like. And it's a really simple exercise that um, I've had a lot of success with that can be quick, easy, and um, pretty powerful in the moment. And then you also have a specific practice that Jane could take out of that session of just mentally saying yes when any given sensation arises or no. And it could be uh, just helping her build awareness of when she's unwilling to have anxiety and to just become more mindful of what that feels like. Um, So we're going with flexibility here. And there's a lot more acceptance exercises that, that you can do and you'll integrate throughout the entire course of treatment. Okay, so that concludes our exploration of acceptance exercises and their profound impact on therapy. Let's take a moment to recap the key points we discussed today. In therapy, connecting acceptance to a sense of realistic purpose can enhance the client's engagement and willingness to embrace discomfort. We explored practical acceptance exercises that help clients like Jane connect with their emotions, fostering a sense of willingness and mindfulness. These exercises, such as noticing emotions in the body and saying yes or no to sensations, can be powerful tools for clients to build awareness and become more mindful of their emotional experiences. Remember, the journey towards acceptance is a process And these exercises can play a pivotal role in guiding clients toward a more meaningful and purpose-driven life. As therapists, incorporating these techniques into our practice can help our clients transform their relationship with their emotions and align their actions with their values. So that's all for now. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the world of acceptance exercises in therapy. Stay tuned for our upcoming episodes, where we'll continue to provide practical psychotherapy tools to support you in your practice. If you're a mental health professional, our resources, including Therapy Pro and Clinical Cases, can be invaluable for your professional growth and development with the added benefit of earning CE credits. To learn more about membership, accreditation, and clinical cases, you can click on the link in the show notes. Your support means the world to us, so please consider leaving a review on Apple Podcasts and sharing our podcast with your colleagues and friends. We appreciate your commitment to improving mental health and look forward to seeing you again for our next episode. 
This is Dr. Jessica Diaz signing off and wishing you a successful journey in helping your clients find acceptance, purpose, and resilience. Bye-bye.